Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nathan, and welcome back to my channel. I know, it's been a while, and we've been busy, but don't you worry, it's a new year, and we've got a whole bunch of new stuff to cover. So let's get right on down to it. Are you afraid of the dark? No? No. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, I guess that's not that big a deal then. Alright, well, I'll still tell you about this game anyways. Allow me to introduce you to Light Matter. I miss those video game science companies of old. You know the ones. The ones that promise some great, big, beautiful future in store. And then just end up murdering you along the way. You know, companies like uh, Aperture Science, or Vault Tech, or the Umbrella Corporation, or Aperture Science. Well, luckily for me, it looks like there's a new contender in that category of evil science companies, and that company is Light Matter Technologies. Imagine the greatest breakthrough in renewable energy since the sun was born. Pure, clean, natural, unlimited. Introducing Light Matter, the torch that will guide humanity into the future. Developed by the team over at Tunnel Vision Games, Light Matter puts you in the shoes of somebody. Actually, who am I playing as? Yo, uh, Virgil, the CEO of Light Matter Technologies. Who am I playing as again? Uh, were you a part of the public tour? Are you a health and safety inspector? You're a journalist. So you have absolutely no idea who I am either, then. Cool. Yeah, it puts you in the shoes of uh, that guy and challenges you to escape the facility of Light Matter Technologies, a scientific company that's created a breakthrough in renewable clean energy. Something so monumentally wonderful, you have to see it to believe it. Of course, a breakthrough this monumental can't be without its deadly side effects. And the deadly side effect for this breakthrough is that shadows literally kill you now. So you are challenged to escape this facility using nothing but your wits and whatever light sources you can find to get out, whether that be lamps, overhead ceiling, fluorescence, or beams of light that seem to suspend themselves in midair. And boy is it a challenge. Also, I don't have a script and I'm just recording this freehand. I see no ways that this can go wrong at all. When playing through Light Matter, you might notice a few subtle, carefully hidden references to another first-person puzzler set in a scientific facility with potentially deadly side effects for being in it. I find these inclusions a little bit odd, not because of the similar nature of the two games, but because in terms of visual styles, these games look absolutely nothing alike. While Portal focuses more on a realistic look, Light Matter ignores that entirely and decides to go with a more minimalistic, artistic style in its gameplay lookings. Gameplay lookings, is that the right word? I think that's the right word. I'm gonna assume that's the right word. Since the entire game is set deep inside a mountain, the lack of natural looking light sources, with your only colors mainly being those dark grays of the facilities, the blackness of inky shadows, and the harsh whites of those artificial light sources, give the game a really cool visual look that's high contrasting and artistically beautiful. Mix in the occasional sprinklings of greens, reds, yellows, and other assorted colors to those drab landscapes, and you have a very pretty landscape that, despite not having a lot of colors or brightness to begin with, still manages to shine. And when you toss in the melodic tinklings of a occasional note from the game's soundtrack, you have a beautifully constructed world, one that's really fun to explore and play through. And boy howdy is playing through at a time.
while light matter's level design could basically be summarized as get from one side of the room to the other without drowning in a puddle of shadows along the way, the level design and the puzzles in the game are so well planned and thought out that I never felt that sort of feeling at all with any of the levels in the game. The basic mechanics and progression of the puzzles in Light Matter is also very well thought out and implemented, from the very first levels when you're simply manipulating shadows and light sources, to manipulating lamps, to finally manipulating beams of light and controlling how the room environment reacts to those beams of light. Each and every stage in the development of those puzzles really built upon the foundations that were already set up by earlier levels, and by the time the final challenge had happened in the game, I was ready and fully prepared to take on the finale. While some puzzles were extremely difficult for me to solve, they never felt challenging in a way that felt unfair, and by the time that I actually had finished them, the sense of relief and satisfaction that I got from solving the puzzles was one of the best satisfactions that I've gotten in a puzzle game lately. And besides, it's not like there was anything bad to complain about while I was solving them. After all, the great Virgil himself was there to give me feedback, support, and... whatever it was that he was doing on that intercom. Yes, James, this is Virgil. I need... James, calm down, James. Just punch something. We will find your cat later. Now focus. Speaking of Virgil, David Bateson and all the other small number of voice actors play a fantastic job at adding a little bit of a good story to Light Matter. While it's nothing too spectacularly unique, it was still engaging and kept me interested in what exactly was going on in this facility, and made me want to learn a little bit more about it. In fact, the only thing I'm disappointed about is that there isn't more about this place to learn. Hopefully they'll release a DLC sometime, because that would be fantastic. Overall, gameplay and controls were some of the smoothest that I've gotten from a first-person puzzle game. The controls are some of the easiest to pick up and learn, since you only have to worry about running, jumping, and picking up and inter slash interacting with items. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Light Matter. A game from a small and very new to the area studio that I'm excited to see what they're going to do next. This game has been an absolutely fantastic one to see get developed, and it's been so rewarding to see what the final payoff has been like. I'm excited for what these guys are going to do next, and I honestly cannot wait to see where their next project takes them. But I take full responsibility for my engineer's wrongdoing. I'm finding a solution, and he's finding a new career. Actually, he's probably dead. So, that was Light Matter. If you want to check out the game for yourself on Steam, there will be a link to it down in the description, and a link over on the side to the trailer for the game. If you want to watch any of my previous indie review series, you can check out that playlist right over here. And if you want to subscribe, I'll stick something up in there as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I, I, I guess the lights are out now. I, I guess I'm a shadow. I guess I'm dead. But thank thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.